I do the uh, the. Uh, um, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace for our Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you. Amen. If you're wondering who this tall priest is that you would not know if I know or recognize, my name's Father Chad King. I'm happy to be here as your new pastor. Um, if Uh, hope you're still clapping as you get to know me also. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, I'm born to, to, to serving you. Um, I was here, if you, if you remember, if you were here, I was here six years ago, um, seven years ago, uh, as an associate. So I'm happy to be back in old strange, coming back as now as pastor. Um, so please, but uh, you all hear from me in my house. Uh, so thank you, but I'm happy to be here and I'm so glad you're here. And I can see you uh, and not empty pews. To celebrate these most sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. All the time we have failed to love God and love our neighbor as, he, as we ought. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives reigns with you, you know, Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one of them heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. And when he said this, he showed them his hands and his sides. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've been having this reoccurring phrase in my head for the past couple weeks. Perhaps you know it. It's a well-known phrase spoken a lot by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. (laughs) I didn't think I would be coming back when I left six years ago, but apparently God has other plans. But I am happy to be back. But now, but now as, as your pastor, and allow me to stay right off that I know that whenever a new pastor comes, people first start to wonder, who is he? What is he all about? And how is he going to change my parish? Let me be, begin to answer those questions to help ease your mind a little bit. First of all, I am glad that you might be wondering what is he, what is he going to change or do in, this, in my parish? Because I do hope you see it as your parish. For truly you make up St. Gabriel's Catholic Church. But likewise though, 
you also hopefully know that the root word of pastor is shepherd. So I, as your pastor, am simply called to be your shepherd, to gather and to guide and lead. So I am here to serve you, to help you, to guide you, and lead you. So I look forward to getting to know you so I can do just that. I'm also very glad that this Sunday, my first Sunday here as your pastor, is Pentecost Sunday. Because I don't want to lead and guide according to my own desires. I want to lead and guide only according to God's will, which is made known to us through the Holy Spirit. Only God's will leads us to the happiness and the fulfillment we all long for. It is the Holy Spirit, through the intercession of St. Gabriel and our mother Mary, that will cause this parish to grow and flourish as God is calling us to, the way God wants us to. So, and so getting to know you, collaborating with you, and working with you, we will grow this parish together. The early church fathers calls the Holy Spirit the love and the unity between the Father and the Son. So who am I? I am a child of God, a son of God who has encountered his amazing love. I have experienced and know deep down God's infinite and unfathomable love for me, one I do not deserve. And it is this love of God, this relationship that I have foster, that I foster every day in my personal prayer, that which gives me meaning and purpose in my life. And it is also the reason why I'm a priest. It is to help you to have that same encounter, to help you to know and grow in the love of God has for you and you for him. The sacraments are the encounters of God's amazing love. And it is the Holy Spirit which makes the sacraments what they are. Meaning, they, the Holy Spirit takes something ordinary, bread and, and, and wine and water, and makes it extraordinary, makes it divine. But it is also the Holy Spirit which makes the, 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 the sacraments effective to be true encounters uh, uh, and which bears fruit in our lives. How many times have we received these sacraments but have not always let them bear fruit in our lives? This is what the role of the Holy Spirit is in our hearts, that they will bear fruit through from these sacraments. And so I am honored to be called to be Christ's priest to bring the sacraments, the encounters of God's love for you. In particular, in, in our gospel today, Jesus breathes on the Holy Spirit upon his apostles, upon the first priests and bishops of his church, and upon every priest since then, and bestows upon them the authority and power to forgive sins in the sacrament of confession. Now, I, for one, absolutely love to bestow God's mercy upon his people. And so I look forward to do it down to you in the sacrament of confession. Likewise, I have, I have been and am continuing to, to be transformed by the real presence of Jesus in the most holy Eucharist. It is the Holy Spirit which transforms ordinary bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ so that we can receive him into our very beings and, and to be transformed from the inside out ourselves into the body of Christ, the church, the, whether this parish, St. Gabriel's, is meant to be. Therefore, I, as your pastor, simply want to be an instrument of the Holy Spirit to transform us even more. 
I want to build upon the strong foundation of Father Jack and Father Dennis and Father John and with with and with Father David and each of you to help you to grow deeper and deeper in the love of God. I look forward to working with Annunciation School and all the many great ministries of this parish to help us all grow in, in our Catholic faith. The way I see it, I am called to lead and shepherd all the families of this parish into a family of families through and in the Holy Spirit to prepare us, each and every one of us, for eternal life and love of God in heaven. And so obviously we have a lot of work to do if we all want to go to heaven, right? But if the Holy Spirit is at work in us and will be in work, will work even more if we allow him to. However, I also will want to say at the same time that I am different. I have different strengths and different weaknesses than Father Jack and Father Dennis and Father John. I don't know fully how they operated, how they preached, and how they led. I can only be myself, be who God has made me and is making me to be. So I now vow to you that I want to lead you according to how the Holy Spirit is leading me and this parish. That means that like the Holy Spirit does in our own lives, there will times where I will be hopefully encouraging or inspiring, but there are also times where I'll be challenging and convicting because that's what the Holy Spirit does in our own lives. But to, but to know that I do it all out of love, out of love for you and of deep desire to help you to encounter and to grow in the, into the amazing love God has for each one of you. And so I need your prayers. I need your support. I need you to pray for me, just as I will pray for you also. And I want you to encourage me and inspire me, which you will do by your own pursuit of holiness and growing in faith. So please pray for me and for every prisoner that we will be open to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So if you will, I'd like to pray now. Is it good? Join me in praying. Holy Spirit, come. Just as you descended upon the apostles and made them into your instruments, in building the kingdom of God, the church on earth, we ask that you descend anew upon each one of us. We pray for a renewal of your love and presence upon St. Gabriel's. Just as you announced the coming of new life through St. Gabriel upon Mary and the whole church and whole world at the Annunciation of Jesus Christ to the world, so we ask you and give you permission to fill us anew with your very life and your love. Holy Spirit, help us to know and your activity in our lives. Open our hearts and console what needs to be consoled, to heal what needs to be healed, to forgive who needs to be forgiven. We ask you to strengthen our conviction and our wills and give us an unwavering zeal and desire for you. We ask you to root out sin and take away any obstacles to growth in our lives and our hearts. Help us to recognize and to follow your promptings and your guidance, for we only want to be led by you and into you, O blessed Trinity. Amen. Amen.
And it's there. Filled with the Holy Spirit, let us pray for the common good of the whole human family. The church may gather in the unity at the table of the Lord for its people of every race and language and way of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God's Spirit made the soul on old and young life dreams of peace and visions of justice. Lord, to our prayer. That God's Spirit may breathe new life, a hope, into those deprived of freedom, devastated by hunger, or denied their human dignity through unemployment or underemployment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, to our prayer. That our new pastor, Father Chad, may be filled with the Holy Spirit as he leads our parish community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, to our prayer. The Holy Spirit may fill the hearts of all affected by the coronavirus. May they find healing, peace, and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, to our prayer. That all of our neighbors here impacted by the Ocotillo fires may be safe and receive the care, support, and assistance that they may need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, to our prayer. The Lord will grant to our nation peace and calmness and racial justice for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our compassionate God may hear and answer all the prayers we hold within the silence and the privacy of our hearts. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, on that first Pentecost, you filled the hearts and minds of your people with the Holy Spirit. Today, fill our hearts and minds with that same Holy Spirit. Help us all to be true to your word and to be filled with your truth. Help us to always listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit within as he guides our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of your earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, pray that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and ever give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty, eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. The same Spirit, as the church became to birth, opened all to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts singing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving a thanks said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving it thanks of the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to exile us to yourself. Grant that we, her nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you have summoned here before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life. Give kind admittance of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, let us dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and by and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, I will be outside to, to greet you, if, if, if you would like. Um, uh, be all the way outside in the back. Please try not to, to, to congregate in the vestibule, as it's kind of small and we don't have a lot of room uh, to try and stay six feet apart from each family. Thank you. The Lord be with you. With May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.